Aha. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's see here. I could turn... Uh, I could actually get this going. This would probably be better. Let's see here. One second. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Hopefully you guys can hear me now. Uh, okay. Hope you guys had a great day. I had a really good day. Uh, and excited to have a good night. Uh, let's see here. Um, so I just found out today, literally like minutes ago, that uh, my Sandy Koufax is due this week. So I've been very busy working on other things. Now I got to focus on Sandy. So I wanted to show you guys, I've shown you guys a lot of the process of how I cut my stencils and use the fiber tape and do the backgrounds and all that stuff. I haven't really shown you guys much about just the prep to like even print the stencil. Not super complicated. I don't do a ton in Photoshop, but I do like resize and stuff. And so I'm going to start working on that. Uh, but I need to figure out, and it's going to take me a second, how to do a window capture. So, okay. So I have Photoshop open here. All right. Let's see here. Um, if I say here, so display capture image slideshow it should be window capture I think window capture here okay why isn't why isn't it showing Photoshop it's so weird uh, no no oh, cool but not it no. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see here. So if I go plus, uh, what about if it's display capture? Sorry guys. Uh, let's see here. Video. Audio stream. I can't change any of this because I'm streaming live. I'm trying to show you guys Photoshop and I honestly thought it would be under window capture and it's not. And then I thought it would be under display capture. Hmm. Yeah, Joe, I'm trying to make it Sandy time. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, Photoshop just like to prep my stencil. Um, let me try this real quick. I know that I know that it's I know that it's black. Uh, let's see here. So if I go here, display capture. OK. Nope. Capture. Aha. Okay. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Okay. So it's display capture. No. Get rid of that. Uh, okay. Plus window capture here. Okay. Uh, no, where's Photoshop? For sure, that was going to be it. Shoot. Zoom, no. OBS messages notes, finder, doc. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm 
Sorry about that, guys. Well. All right, I guess we're just gonna hang out and talk. Can't figure out how to do the window capture, and uh, I don't know. Maybe okay. Let's see. Photoshop is open here. Let's try this one more time. Plus, display capture here. No. Plus, window capture. Okay. Photoshop is showing up, but it's saying null. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Well, we're just going to hang out then. Uh, do you want to keep them, discard them? Okay. All right. We're just going to chill and talk for a little bit, and then I'm going to work on the Sandy tonight. Um, Yeah, I wish I had an eight-year-old around Moose Knoll. I'm sure they could figure it out. Jackson could probably figure it out. Uh, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, all right, so Sandy. I'm going to work on that. Um, Sandy's an interesting card because the original card is horizontal. It, ha it does have a dual portrait. It's got the big face and kind of smaller, like, full-body shot. He's kind of, like, stepping and kind of leaning on, like, a step. Normally, I would take those images and I would flip them, but they're both kind of the same size, so I don't know if that really makes sense. Um, I might just do, like, the big face, which I know that uh, Grotesque just did that, but there's not tons to tons of um, different ways you can take that card. Well, there are actually unlimited ways, but I want to stay true to the original card. So, yeah, I don't know. We shall see. Um, I also posted on Reddit. I haven't posted at all on Reddit in a long time. Uh, Trying to reach some new fans. And uh, threw out there that I was open to ideas for Sandy. So they've been uh, sending me some ideas there. If you guys have ideas, you're welcome to send them here. You can send them to me on Twitter or wherever you want. Um, Trying to think what else. So working on Sandy. Uh, still working through Commission Pipeline. Working on these kind of T206 cards that have been super fun lately. Um, those have just been kind of a passion project that um, we'll see where it goes. Um, autos. So, uh, Brian, you got your Willie auto. That's awesome. Um, I love seeing people post pictures of the autos when they get them. Um, autos. Uh, dual autos with Doc are live. They went live this morning. Blake.art. Uh, yes, so those are live. I don't have them in hand yet. Uh, honestly, I would have normally waited a little longer to release them so that everything's released sequentially. But uh, Doc's team was eager to, he's kind of riding the momentum, just launching them as soon as the card ends on top. So they wanted to release them uh, sooner than later. I told them that's okay, I'll just do it at the same time. So they're live on my site right now. Uh, we still have more both left, and if they are um, sold out on my site, you can get them from Doc's site and vice versa. We took the complete set. There are 86 of the black ones. <sighs> Excuse me, 86 black ones and uh, 69 uh, blue and orange ones, and we split those down the middle, put half on his site, half on my site, and uh, I saw both, some of both left. Uh, we also got uh, Ichiro's, which Ichiro's are here in-house, uh, which is great. We started opening them today. We've opened, a, I don't know, a quarter of them. Have not found a gold yet, hopefully. Um, let's see here. 
Uh, yeah, so the Ichiro, choose your own colors. Also launched those. Those were launched last night. A lot of you guys probably know that. Blake.art is the website. All the new drops are going on the new website, Blake.art. Uh, I will be slowly migrating everything from all of my other websites. I have way too many of them. All over to the new site. I'm very excited to have a central hub with everything. Uh, shout out to my dad for making an awesome website and continuously helping fix and update and enhance everything. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you, Dad. Uh, and thank you, Tess, because she's also been very helpful in getting the new site set up and getting new products up. She's the one that got the Doc Goodens up. She got the Ichiro's up. So I could not do it without um, everyone else's help. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Frank, no one else ordered the light blue. So last time when we did the Willie Mays autos, those ones all were editions less than 10. Now, I have made some changes, uh, one of which being the price cut in more than half. So it started, it was 250 last time. I took the price all the way down to 100 bucks. Uh, at the end of the day, I would rather sell more, uh, get my art into more homes. And so I don't mind the cheaper price points. Um, you know, I know that obviously there's some sweet spot of like, maximizing profits but it's not just about that for me at all it's uh it's also about just getting my art into more homes and a more friendly price tag hopefully will help me do that so it also is like cheap enough that if somebody wanted to they could like get one of each color have a full rainbow and then whichever ones are the lowest print runs they're guaranteed to have one um was my thinking i also took away three colors i took away white gray and brown and I put the reds, which normally were editions of 300, into the choose your own adventure color. Because I know that some people are collecting reds. I told people that I was always gonna have a red cheap option for 100 bucks, that's still true. Uh, it's really, if you are collecting reds, this is probably even the best of both, wor both worlds because normally that would have been an edition of probably 300. Now you're gonna get an edition of, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing a lot less than 300. Um, I know based on numbers now, it will be a lot. All of them will be a lot less than that. Um, ba -ba. I am going to do the uh, Ted Williams autos next. Um, planning on doing it just like this uh, Ichiro. Uh, I'm tentative, tentatively going to release them on the 15th, which is a week from today. A week from tomorrow, I think. I don't know. A week from today or a week from tomorrow. Whatever the 15th is. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'll do another two week cycle and then probably one week after that, which will be when the Ichiro's end, then I'll layer in Ken Griffey Jr. Do two weeks on that. And then a week later after that, um, the Doc Good and my autos. Similar thing. If all goes according to plan. Uh, correct. On sale until 921. So these cards are all uh, at least this one's going to run for two weeks. Last time it was one week. Um, I'm testing it out, to be honest. Uh, if you guys have a compelling argument to make it last longer or shorter, open to hearing it. I want to make sure that people have an opportunity to get it. Keep it long enough open for that. But also, um, Sorry, I just got a text from JK5, who, by the way, I think is going to be on the stream tonight, although that text sounded like maybe there's something up with it. Uh, da -da. Yeah, so I'm open to the timing. I want people to be able to get it, but I also know that, like, I have the Ichiro's in hand right now. I can't sign and number them until the two weeks is up because we have to give everyone a chance to get them. So for people to order them today, they're going to ship in two weeks. That's about the longest I'd like to go with buying and then shipping something. Um, I know that you guys have been really patient with tops and with artists and with everyone in getting things. Um, it's taken a long time. I would like to get it out the door as quickly as possible. I'm only waiting the two weeks because I'm doing this limited number thing and I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, if you guys have ideas on the timing, let me know, shoot me an email, shoot Tess an email, uh, shoot Matt an email uh, and let us know. Uh, yes, JK5 tomorrow. I'm actually going to read this real quick. Um, uh, 
Okay, so I don't know if he's going to be doing it in person. It sounds like he'll either do it in person or... Uh, uh, I think he's going to do it from person because he doesn't want to be uh, wearing masks. Which is fine. Either way, he'll be on the stream tomorrow. I was really looking forward to meeting the dude. Um... All right, let's see. I'm looking at some comments. JK5 tomorrow. That's right. What is up? Uh, I feel like the autos are in the speed spot right now. Thank you, Matthew Burke. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think it's good, and I think that. Um, I think a lot of people are gonna get really good numbered editions for a hundred bucks, which uh, I don't think there's any artist doing that right now, and I like to be on the bleeding edge of trying new stuff and laying the groundwork for uh, things that other artists are doing. So I think it's a fun thing and uh, it allows people to get some pretty rare additions for a very friendly price tag. I'm also aware that like there's so many different places to spend your money, even not even talking about outside Project 2020 where there's infinite places, but like people's autos, straight from tops buying the cards ebay trying to complete your set filling in gaps companion cards uh original art and prints from the artists patreon pages uh all kinds of stuff so i appreciate you know anybody that's spending uh any of their harder money with me uh is very much appreciated and hopefully uh you guys appreciate the hundred dollar price tag um Thank you, Tim. I appreciate the larger purchase window. Awesome. Uh, thank you, Frank. I appreciate that. Uh, duh, let's see here. Krista, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I'm happy to look up tracking uh, for you and see if we can help you track that one down. Uh, let's see here. 1997 cloth. Uh, nice, got the Aaron hung up. That is dope. I saw photos, I believe it was on Blowout. Um, looks awesome. Um, wow, Andy, that's really cool. JK5's Trout Auto Jersey, number 27 of 59. That is, that's really cool. I didn't know that he did companion jerseys, but that's brilliant. Uh, let's see here. All right. Irene, you ordered some Ichiro's. That's awesome. What colors are you guys feeling? I'm curious. Uh, can anyone tell me the print run on the Blake Griffey? Uh, I believe it was like, I want to say like 5,500. I'm not actually sure. I think it was in that range. Uh, 40, maybe 4,500, 5,500. I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to look it up. Uh, I'll probably would be faster looking it up on my own site. Okay, 5724 was the Griffey print run for my Griffey. Um, all right. 5724. Not bad. Uh, secret which color? Nice. Um, okay, so we got that. Uh, Stan, I appreciate that very much. Uh, dual Auto Babe Ruth, Blob Ruth, that's awesome. Um, so, Luke, to frame that, so it's a, pre it's a standard size, 18 by 24. If, uh, it's really actually pretty easy if you go to like, uh, you can actually order it online, like on Amazon or on uh, Blick, dickblick.com. And you just want to get a frame with glass on the front, since it's a print, uh, that is 18 by 24. So you can do white frame, black frame. Those are the two main ones. I'm sure you could find other colors or natural wood. Uh, Octavio, the Blob Ruth is on paper for the dual auto edition. 18 by 24, that one's on fine art paper. The other ones that are print on demand that are unnumbered and unsigned, those are on canvas, stretched, ready to hang. The, re, one of the reasons that we didn't do those as the dual autos is because A, we wanted them to be different than the unnumbered ones, and B, 
we were ordering 25 of them where we actually did 30 because we were afraid we would mess some up and we did so we ordered 30 of them here to the studio and having 30 canvases show up would have been would have been really big so we did papers so that we they came rolled just easier to ship uh, for fulfillment for ourselves anyways those ones are paper other ones are canvas stretched um, uh, let's see here uh, I'll buy a dual auto doc Blake auto uh, if you write an expletive on it <laughs> uh, sure Frank I'll do that for you no problem um, just Jeff you're gonna get back to Matt cool what's up Jason good to see you again um, Octavio as far as shipping I we don't know, man. This is uh, we're in the pre-order zone, and Tops has been kicking butt, catching up. Um, but we haven't gotten the cards from Tops, just like everyone else. Once they come from Tops, I have to sign them. I have to send them to Doc to sign. Maybe we'll send them to Doc first. I don't know. Whatever. We each have to sign them, and then I have to ship them out. So it will be a little while, just to be totally honest, on the Doc Dual Auto, like having them in hand. Um, dun, dun, let's see here thank you Chris yeah I love the uh, the Swagner paintings too I've got a couple um, yeah, a bunch of work that I really like le lately feel really good about that um, alright Eric I'll look at this picture of uh, Sandy oh, that is a cool photo I like that. I'm saving it. Okay. Yeah, I kinda, I've used like all of the original photos uh, up until now, so I'm kind of... Um, motivated to stick with that but who knows got us saved and I appreciate it Eric uh, yes new episode coming out tomorrow of pretty big news uh, which one is that Lauren Taylor, Lauren Taylor. dope um, oh I like that Luke that's a great idea oversized frame and get a mat um, with the color of Ruth's jersey that'd be great uh, thank you, Matthew. I really appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, thank you, sunglasses one. Yeah, I like that one too. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, Stadium Club has some nice cards. I, I like them. They've, I've seen some cool ones and some cool parallels. Like there's a uh, Lou Bob where he's jumping rope. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, pod with Eric. That's a good question. So Eric's been over here twice, but we have not been able to record an episode yet. So we're going to have to do that next time he comes over. But next time we hang out, my job to go to him because he's come to my studio twice. Oh, that Eric. Sorry, I was thinking yeah. F dot. F dot. Oh, Eric. oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, yes, got it. Yes, yes. I just need to check and make sure the audio for Eric goes back pages. That episode is okay. Got it. Kosher. But, that. Uh, working on that. Coming that. soon. That then. Yeah. Sorry, I was. I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking F dot because someone had said Blob Ruth Prince. That makes sense. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Octavio, no problem. Happy to do it. Um, thank you, Luke, for sending the photos. Uh, we should definitely link the PBN podcast uh, in my footer. I'm not sure if you mean in emails or in videos, but it could go in either or both. Um, yeah, the stained glass Honus is kind of fun. Did all these uh, kind of swaggy ones. Ooh, I like that. Lou Blob. 
Uh, let's see. Place the stairs and make the beach sandy. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. Uh, I like that. That's funny. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Kev? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, okay. Um, let's see what else we got. Well, you guys got any questions? Throw them out. Uh, or ideas or whatever. Um, I'm going to call this one pretty soon because, like I said, I was trying to work on my Sandy card. I couldn't get it so that I could show you guys the screen. I'll have to troubleshoot that later. But I do really have to work on Sandy tonight. Um, uh, Thursday. So, very soon. Uh, Chris, yeah, Sandy's going to be vertical. Uh, the all, uh, all my cards will be vertical. Uh, and I followed up with them today because I checked in. I was like, yo, when's Sandy due? Because they didn't tell me. And they're like, oh, it's due Thursday. So a little late notice, but I'm going to make it happen. Um, but I don't know what my next card is after that. So I have no idea. Um, Yes, Octavio, JK5 tomorrow. I just don't know if we're going to be in person or if we're going to be um, teleconference. So we shall see. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Eric, if it's Brett or not yet. The Brett mix-up on my last, t last time when I thought Brett was actually going to be my next card before Sandy was a typo that Top sent for Joshua Vides's George Brett they had put my name in front of it instead. So I don't know that Brett is even my next card. That's why I reached out to ask, because I'm just not sure. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, I had a couple fantasy football drafts tonight. Did pretty well, I think. I don't know. I'm also like biased towards players that I paint for. So I'm really high on... Um, Miles Sanders and Josh Jacobs. I think they're both very talented young guys with a lot of um, a lot of upside. So I got both of those in both my leagues. So that's uh, those are my first picks. Um, also, I was like last in. I've been in la picking last in a snake draft. So I get last and then second and then the next pick uh, in two out of my three drafts so far. Um, but honestly, if I had first pick first round, might not be that different. CMC is tempting, but I really think Josh is going to have a great year, and I think that um, uh, Miles Sanders will too. Uh, let's see here. Thank you, Octavio. I appreciate that. Um, Kevin says, Matt, that you owe him a shirt. Yes, yes, is PBN making shirts. Matt owes me a shirt. All right. Cool. We'll get there. We can do that. Yeah, I got you. Um, We're not there yet. We're not making shirts yet, but when we are, I got you, Kevin. Yeah, Matt, Matthew, I, I hear you that everyone thinks they do well in fantasy drafts and then the first three weeks show you, but I'll tell you what. I played in four leagues last year. I got first place in three of them and second place in one of them. That's amazing, dude. It was a very good – it was a strong year for me. And why? I was all about Lamar. Um, yeah, let's see who else. Who else like was crutch? It was honestly, it was a lot of Ravens. In your uh, auction, did you get? Uh, you got Hollywood Brown, right? I got Marquise Brown. I got DK Metcalf. Nice. Uh, I got DeAndre Hopkins. Um, I have Russell Wilson and Kyler Murray. Um, I have Mark. Oh no, Zach Ertz. Um, who are some of my running backs? I don't even know where I don't even know where to see my team because it was on Zoom. No, Miles it was this is a keeper league and Miles Miles have been kept, and then Josh Jacobs went out early, and I didn't know how much to bid. So I, that that draft I didn't actually get either of those, which I was really bummed about. Who are my running backs in that one though? I don't remember. I've also got some young guys. Um, on some of my teams, like Swift, um, Rugs, uh, CD Lamb in one league, 
Um, yeah, so some of the young guys. Hopefully, some, hopefully one of them hits. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I got J.K. Dobbins tonight. Really pumped about him. Nice. Yeah. I uh, I got him too on my first draft tonight. Oh nice. Yeah, I like him too. Um. Yeah. So, anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just make sure I didn't miss any comments. Um. Yes, Chris. COVID can wipe out a team quickly. That is absolutely true. Uh, anything special you have planned for when you do Clemente? Clemente is going to be a cool one. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I was introduced to the Robert Clemente, or uh, Roberto Clemente Foundation uh, in Puerto Rico. And uh, I'm going to talk to them and do something charity related with them. Awesome. Yeah. Um, but, but let's see here. Got those. Uh, so who's my QB? So Russell Wilson and Kyler Murray is my backup. Um, and then in my other league, uh, Russell Wilson and um, Jimmy G is my backup. Uh, as much as I can, I try to draft. Um, is th when I play in a bunch of leagues, I try and draft the same players um, as much as I can. Not always possible, but try to. Um, let's see, those are all good. Nice, you draft players that wear number 13. I like that. Um, uh, Willie Winner Prize. Uh, I don't honestly remember which Willie Winner you're talking about, so I'll have to check in with Test. Um, uh, unless you know. The, yeah, the black autos for the Willies? We sent those out. Okay. There was like a giveaway? Yes. Got it. I can reread those names. We sent it out. We sent it out. So yes. just everyone Someone keep an eye on their Octavio. mailbox. Yeah, Octavio. Octavio was, yeah. yeah, Octavio, we sent that out to you. So that should be on the way. Tight. It is on the way. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Yay. Um, I did not see the PG National All-American game. Um... Nice. Brian, I cannot do any more fantasy leagues. <laughs> I'm in too many, and it's on every single different platform, which I really need a pol platform policy to be like, I only do two, but I have one on CBS, two on ESPN, one on Yahoo, and one on NFL. So how, what is that, five leagues? Uh, it's ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Um, all right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, sorry that I couldn't get the uh, screen working to show you guys working on Copax, but I'm going to be working on that, and I'll be back tomorrow with JK5, either here or virtually over the phone, exactly. Cool. Thank you, guys. Stay safe, and stay awesome.